Flagging a control cage. After your control point has been set, start with a center lath a minimum of three feet from your control point, which will be facing back towards the site itself. I always prepare the spot the lath will be set with a groundbreaking spike so that I know the lath will stay in the ground firmly despite wind or other minor disturbances. I like to use a standard railroad spike. They're easy to come by. In fact, you can buy them on Amazon, but they are super light and fit in the same slot as a large marker wood in your tool belt. Next, I'll set the center lath itself, facing the construction I'm protecting my point from, and then using the same method, I'll set the two surrounding lath in a triangular pattern so that each point is about three feet from the next and all are about three feet from the control point at the center. To tie the flagging, I use two rolls of bright contrasting colors, in this case, pink and blue. The two colors help differentiate control from everything else on the site. But as the wind passes through them, it also creates the illusion of more movement, which helps draw attention to the cages. This makes them easier to find and easier to avoid. I'll start at the top of one end, move to the top middle, and the far top end, tying a knot at each point so that if the flagging tears, the whole cage doesn't just unravel. From the far end, I move to the bottom of the middle lath and then back up to my start point. Your cage should look nice, clean, and aesthetic. This helps reinforce the idea that your control work has been done with care and that it's worth protecting at a high level. That might sound silly to you, but I promise aesthetics have an effect on people's mind. People are less likely to run over hard work than something that looks unimportant. Finally, the lath needs to be labeled. The two lath on the outside get the message, do not destroy, facing outward to the side itself as an additional reminder of the importance of the cage itself. And the center lath is labeled control point with a proper numerical designation of the point. That way, anyone walking up to the cage knows exactly which point this cage protects. On the back of the lath facing the control point, I'll write control point and the number once again, so that if you're occupying the point with your equipment, you don't have to walk around to the outside of the cage to find out where you are. That's it. Just remember when flagging a control cage, it's top, top, middle, top. Thanks for visiting Lean Survey. There are plenty more best practice, quick tricks, and tip videos on the way. Be sure to like, leave a comment if you have recommendations for content, and click that subscribe button for more.